Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. So let's get right to our top stories. It is game day for Broncos country today. Broncos play the New York Jets on Thursday night football right here on Denver 7. Both teams looking for their first wins of the season and the Broncos will have a new starting quarterback. Brett Rippon will get his first ever NFL start. Kickoff is at 620 tonight. We'll have coverage of the game this morning and throughout the day on Denver 7. Tens of thousands of airline employees across the U.S. are waking up without a job. The Federal CARES Act, which gave $25 billion to airlines during the pandemic, expired at midnight. United says it's furloughing 13,000 workers starting today. Airline executives say they'll keep paying their workers if Congress approves billions of dollars in grants to the airlines. A six day volunteer search for evidence in the disappearance of Suzanne Morphew turned up largely empty. Morphew has not been seen since Mother's Day. Hundreds of volunteers traveled to Chafee County to help with the search, which was organized by Morphew's brother. The sheriff's office says volunteer search crews found several pieces of quote possible evidence, but none of it directly connected to the Morphew case. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. We've had some really pretty weather all week long. This morning, a little cooler. Temperatures dropping into the upper 30s to low 40s, but clear skies from City Park. We've got a really pretty start to the day, and it's going to be another gorgeous afternoon. By 12 o'clock, we should be at about 60 degrees. It is going to be a good 5 to about 10 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. Highs will be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees this afternoon. Denver topping out right around 70 by about 4. We've got Erie at 68, Highlands Ranch close to 70, and some upper 60s to low 70s as you head west. So in the high country, some pretty weather there too. Lots of sunshine expected today and some pretty dry weather. There will be still some areas of smoke and things are going to get warm again. We're going to be, it looks like in the upper 70s tomorrow and then 80s next week. So some big warm ups on the way.